This is part two of the problem where we are creating a budget variance analysis. But what we're going to do here is look at the overhead. So the first thing that we want to think about here is the standard pricing model I highlighted here is the variable overhead is based upon direct labor hours. Now that's critical in this problem because that's going to be the basis for our ability to do the analysis. The variable overhead is $4 per direct labor hours, which is obviously 0.25 per direct labor hour in terms of the standard pricing because in fact uh, we're doing four shirts per hour. So the idea is that what we're looking at here is $4 per direct labor hour. In the variable overhead, we do have our actual cost, which is $98,000. Now the next piece of it is the fixed overhead price. And on the fixed overhead uh, pricing budget variance, we're really only looking at it from the perspective of the annual budget uh, annualized for the month as compared to the actual. So let's look at these uh, individually. Let's just go ahead and take care of the fixed right away. In the fixed budget, let's uh, plug in our actual. So our actual is $143,500. So our actual is our $143,500. And the budgeted annual is essentially our fixed budget divided by 12. So it's going to be the $1,500,000 divided by 12 months. And what you see here is that our budgeted fixed overhead cost is $125,000. Our actual fixed overhead cost is $143,000. There's clearly an unfavorable variance, and the unfavorable variance is simply the difference between the two. Okay, so we've got that out of our way. Now let's consider the variable overhead. In fact, let's go ahead and hide this so that we have more room to actually look through what we're attempting to do. So in our variable overhead costing variance analysis, what we want to consider is we want to consider the actual, actual quantity times actual price, the actual quantity times the standard price, and the standard quantity times the standard price. We'll go through each of these individually and we'll see that it's really not that difficult. So the actual quantity times the actual price is really is all we're looking for here is the actual cost for our variable cost, which is $98,400. So we have that. Now, the first thing we wanna calculate is our actual quantity and our standard quantity. And again, we are analyzing our variable cost based upon direct labor hours. So we want to find out what our actual direct labor hours are and our standard direct labor hours. What you'll remember as we go through this problem is the actual and the standard. We already calculated that from our prior calculation for the direct labor. But let's look at this. So the actual labor hours is simply going to be our $248,050 divided by the actual hourly rate, which is $12.10. I always forget to put the equal sign in front of that, but we have that. Okay, so our actual quantity is the 20,500 hours. Our standard quantity is, you notice that we completed 82,000 shirts during the year, or during the month, so it's going to be 82,000. The standard quantity for the shirts is 0.25. So in this case, what we wanna do is times 0.25 and as we had in the other problem, is the actual quantity and the standard quantity is actually the same. Now what we want to do is we want to consider this from the perspective of the standard pricing. So the standard pricing in this case is going to be our $3 per unit And this is going to be times three. 
So what we have here, this variance between the actual and actual pricing and the actual and the standard pricing is our spending variance. The difference between the actual quantity times the standard pricing, standard quantity times the standard pricing is our efficiency. These are all dollar signs here. And what we see is that in terms of the efficiency is it's neither unfavorable nor favorable uh, because the standard quantity is actually the same as the actual quantity, which means that we budgeted this in uh, a very good manner. The difference between the actual quantity and the actual quantity times the standard pricing is the spending variance. And essentially what we have here is we have an unfavorable variance and the difference is going to be the difference between $94,000 and $61,500, which very briefly is what we see here, minus 61,500. And this is an unfavorable variance. I hope this helps and I thank you very much for your time.